Is someone here, Christian? Hey, Max. Hey, oh my God. What a surprise. I know, right? Just totally out of the blue. Yeah. So, can okay, we document some of this for the intro? Uh, yeah, I'll just sign all the appropriate documents. <laughs> Thanks for being here. It's kind of dark in here, huh? I mean, it looks nice just for hanging out, but definitely <laughs> if we're shooting, I don't think it's going to look too great. All right, here we go. So right now, I just turn my normal lamps that I have to the sides. Right, okay. And I turn one of my LED lights. Okay. I happen to have bulbs on my lamps that have different temperatures. Okay. Let me show you. I can make it dim, or I can make them like brighter yellowish. Well, I can keep them white. Check that out. How are you doing that? That's crazy. And the switch though is a normal switch. It's a normal switch. And it, you just hit it like back and forth and it clicks it to correct. different that, stages. That's how they activate wow. the different. Okay. It's kind of cool. I would say in general, you want to get all your lighting as synchronized as possible in terms okay. of the Kelvin, the temperature, yeah. you know. If these are looking white matching those, I say yeah. keep them like that. Okay. It looks a little cold to the naked eye now, but on film, it's always gonna look you know, warm. So yeah, so we've got this light going now and I'm sure that's making a huge difference, but it's still probably looking a little bit um, like a mugshot or something like yeah. that. Like we just got arrested or something and this is <laughs> us at three in the morning. At like in this camera, you can not even see me because we only have a light in one side. Can we bring up and just see what it looks like if we bring a light in front of us now? Let's do it. Great, okay. The light I just turned on has this box, diffuser box, which is, it's okay. But it's helping, it's helping. But it helps, it helps. And I have one more behind me. So okay, well I let's try it, let's try it for now, yeah. yeah. It's, as much as I try to like design the lighting beforehand, it's, you know, until you turn it on and start looking at things, you never know. So, I would think that we're looking pretty good now. Now, I'm sure we're well illuminated, like you can see everything, but you know, how great we're looking, how sexy we're looking, that's another thing. I mean, that's something you just got to get behind the camera and see and kind of check out or stand yeah. away. Should we close the uh, windows? If the outside light isn't disrupting this light, if the balance is not off, I think it's just kind of nice aesthetically and just kind of, you know, it has a nicer feel if the, if the shades are open. So generally, if I can get away with leaving windows open, I do. If it throws off the light, then yeah, you kill it. So you've got these light boxes, these soft boxes, you'd call them, that diffuse the light. And these are, you know, about 16 inches, something like that. And that's good. So that's what that's doing is it's basically, it's taking the light source that's smaller and it's spreading it out. And the way yeah. the theory is that the smaller your light source, the less complementary it is to your subject. So when you've got a little light, um, in my case, I shoot still photography, and my strobe light is a really small light. Super bright, but super small. If I use it without a diffuser, you get that look that looks sort of like crime scene photography or something like that. Just even the most beautiful people look just kind of horrid. Because what it's doing from that small point is it's taking every little blemish and every little imperfection in your face, or even if you're shooting a piece of furniture, every little thing, casts a big shadow and you yeah. don't think about it but it is it's making like thousands of little micro shadows which reads as really rough but once you start to spread that source out you go out which is what the diffuser is doing it's taking it and it's spreading it all of a sudden you've got light coming from every way so ah. if there's a little wrinkle here that was previously getting a shadow creating a shadow now there's a light source coming from here that's kind of filling in that oh, wow, shadow, that's so a... it's looking a lot nicer. You know, and the same thing happens also with when you have a little bit of shine on your subject's face, if somebody's sweating, especially because, you know, when you get in front of cameras, we might be getting nervous and sweating a little bit. I don't, I refuse to wear makeup for uh, video work, but you know what, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to <laughs> get it because I, I get this greasy kind of <laughs> right. look sometimes. I don't have a light in here right now, but just for the sake of the discussion, if I bring this way back, in effect, that is a smaller light point. I mean, if you just look you know, through a hole in your hand, like all of a sudden oh. I can see that whole light. But if I bring it up here, I can't. So what is that? That's that actually being closer is in effect you're broadening so it's better closer it's better closer when i do a shoot um a still shoot 
my diffuser is like, you don't see it in my photos, but if I've got a musician standing there with a guitar or something, there's a diffuser just like hanging right over. You know why it's funny, the similarities with audio, because we have a microphone right here, you don't see it, but the closer it is, the, nicer. the better sound. All right, so we're gonna bring the lights closer to us. Actually, you know what, let's turn this one up just for a moment. Yeah, just to let's... see, just so we can accentuate the effect. Okay, here is a naked source light, and you see how Andres' face looks yeah. right now, not bad. But then it is interesting, as soon as you start to bring in a little bit of diffusion, um, now we're losing light power, so we're gonna have to like go down an S-stop or two. But all of a sudden you see, like he looks a little more natural and just warm. Let me take it away again, so it's that versus that. But remember, this diffuser is not huge. What I'm thinking might work even better for us today. This is just a collapsible diffuser. That's, that's uh, great just for taking out. Pretty cool. Again, we'll look at Andres. We see him now, looks okay, but now we bring up this. And okay, now he's just got sort of a glow, you know? I mean, his face, there aren't these deep shadows. The light sort of just sort of wraps around his face. It just looks warmer, and it also, I think it even looks a little more dimensional. The more you diffuse it, you're lessening the intensity, so if I can go... I'm just turning it up there. Yeah. Okay, so that's looking really nice, I think. Now, when I shoot uh, still photography, I generally just have two light sources. Always have the option for a third, but generally I kind of go out with an economy of lights and time and space. Well, since I have already a third one, should I turn it let's on see. and yeah, see let's, what it looks let's like? Let's put it on. To my eye, what I'm usually looking for when I'm turning my lights on and off and looking yeah. at the subject, I want the subject to be totally illuminated, but I want there to be some sculpting. You don't want it all flat, and in life, I mean, well, I think we're I used think it's to... too much, that light. I will probably turn it down. Okay. Yeah, so that might be... That might be better. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna look into this big diffuser. I think I'm gonna drop the links below, and also check out his work, his website. Let's do a little jam session while the people watching go and subscribe. That's fun. That's what it's called. Mi Conviccion, I wrote it. If you bought my CD, or you're gonna buy my CD, oh, right. Universal Universe, or Pack and Go, he did the graphic design. Thanks for coming to my channel, man. No, totally, this is How cool. How fun is uh, to have the Max Kelly. Would you like to see my garden? Dude, let me see your garden. <laughs>